Over the past year, I've managed to get out to some fantastic places when restrictions have allowed, and over the course of the year, I've accumulated a fair amount of gear. I thought it'd be useful to show some of the best bits of budget gear that I've used this year to help others get started on their camping journey. If you have any great bits of budget gear that you've bought recently, I'd love to hear them in the comments below. Starting with the cheapest bit of gear, we have this lightweight windscreen from 3FUL Gear. I picked this up from the 3FUL website for £5, but it can also be found on the AliExpress website. I love the fact that it has a nice little carry case so that the windscreen can be rolled up and stored when not in use. It's a really simple design with the two pieces of metal joining together to make the windscreen. I can't remember how many times having a decent windshield like this has saved me and my stove on windy mountains. I once forgot it on a trip up Kinder Scout and waiting for my coffee and pasta to boil in the wind was a truly miserable experience. Of course, if you wanted to go even cheaper, you could just make your own out of a foil cooking tray. But to be honest, I just love neat and tidy bits of gear like this that are well made. So that takes us to our first tip for beginner campers and that's to always carry some form of windscreen. It really will save you when you're trying to heat things up in windy and cold weather. Another item that cost me just £5 is this foldable cap from High Gear. I picked this up from Go Outdoors during the summer and it's been my go-to hat ever since. I was originally looking at some hats that cost three times as much from well-known brands, but after using this as much as I have, I'm glad I chose it. It's made from durable nylon fabric, has mesh sides for good breathability and I love the simple minimal design. The peak of the cap folds in half, meaning it can be packed away nice and small. Next on the list is this Omaril head torch I got for £10.99 on Amazon. I originally bought this head torch as a backup on my trip to Scotland, but it was that good that I ended up using it as my main torch. The torch is rated at 200 lumens with a 1000 milliamp battery that can be recharged with a USB-C cable. It also has a stated IPX5 waterproof rating. It has a range of lighting modes from spotlight, red light and a really nice diffuse light setting that is great for lighting the tent up at night. I mainly use this torch around camp while in and out of the tent and it's been absolutely spot on. What I will say is if you do a lot of nighttime navigation then this is probably not the torch for you. I have used it to descend off a mountain at night, but I would definitely have benefited from a stronger beam. So that takes us to my second tip, and that's to always carry two torches. You never know when one of them might fail, and if you ever have to navigate off a mountain at night, then you'll thank yourself for it. From safety to comfort now, and this is the Trekology Ultralight Pillow. These can be found on Amazon for as low as £11.99, depending on the colour. I really like the design of this pillow, and on a few occasions I've used it, I've had a decent night's sleep. I had been using an older model of this pillow that didn't feature its elasticated strap, and I grew tired of constantly having to readjust it during the night. With this newer model, it securely fits around my pad, and I don't have to worry about it through the night. I really like the design of the valve on this pillow, as it allows you to adjust the amount of air in the pillow by clicking the button. This is really handy if, like me, you prefer to have your pillow a little underinflated. This next piece of gear is probably the most used piece I've picked up this past year. This Lomo folding mat cost me £16 from Amazon during a sale. This mat comes with me on every trip and I use it for just about everything. This mat is my chair, it's my insulation from the ground while sleeping, I use it to pack away on and on top of all that it's the back support for my pack. I've found this pad to be extremely durable, and even after using it as much as I do, it still isn't showing any signs of wear. You could definitely argue that there are cheaper formats out there, but for me, this one has been worth the price. It's a fraction of the cost when you compare it to the similar Z-Mat from Thermarest. Since filming this, I've seen a cheaper alternative from Decathlon, so that could be worth checking out as well. That takes us to tip number three, and that's to always carry some form of backup insulation from the ground. As warm as my winter mat is, if that would have failed upon Kinder Scout in the snow, then it would have led to a dangerously cold sleep. But as I always carry a foam mat, then I know that if any inflatable happens to fail, I'll always have the foam mat to rely on. When looking for a set of trekking poles to pitch my Lanshan tents, I wanted something that was lightweight and strong and didn't cost a fortune. 
These carbon long poles from Altkit were probably the cheapest pair of carbon fibre poles I could find without sacrificing quality. I have used lots of Altkit equipment in the past and I have no reason to doubt the quality of their products. You can pick up a single pole for £32.99 or a pair for £49.99 and when you compare that price to other carbon fibre poles it really is a good deal. I don't use poles very much for walking unless I'm on technical terrain for an extended period of time so it was important to me that I didn't spend too much on them. On to tents now, and this is the extremely popular OEX Fox 2 V2. Chances are, if you're into camping, you'll have heard of this tent. It's an extremely popular tent with both beginner and experienced campers. The tent cost me £63 from Black's online eBay store, and it's been worth every penny. The quality and performance for this price is truly remarkable. Me and two friends went for a week long trip in Scotland last year and all three of us had the Fox 2 V2. I wanted something reliable and cheap that could stand up to the elements and I wouldn't be too bothered about slinging in the boot of a car while still wet. We did experience some extremely wet weather and I can honestly say not one of our tents let in any water. They all performed extremely well considering their price. And that takes me to tip number four, and that's to pick a tent that you can comfortably sit up in. Being able to comfortably sit in a tent makes a world of difference when the bad weather comes in. Luckily for me, I'm rather small, and I can sit comfortably in all of my tents. Finally, that takes us to the last piece of gear, and the one I get the most questions about, and that's the 40 to 56 litre pack from 3FUL gear. It costs just £44, which is absolutely insane when you consider the weight and performance of this pack. I really like its minimal design, with the big mesh pocket on the front for shoving all of your items that you want close to hand. I've used this pack now in all four seasons, and it's never let me down. I must be honest, when I first got it, I was sceptical of how well it would hold up, but it has never given me a reason to doubt it. And that takes me to my fifth and final tip for beginner campers, and that's to always check that the gear you own will fit into the pack that you want to buy. There's nothing worse than buying a small lightweight pack to save weight and then realising you can't fit in the gear that you own. Trust me, I've been there. I hope you found this one useful. I'd love to hear your best budget gear in the comments below. Thanks to Gary at 360 Outdoor Adventures for the tag. If you have time, check out his channel as well. If you've enjoyed this video and found it useful, please consider subscribing. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you in the next one.